It is possible to take multiple pumps and add them in series or in parallel. The reason for this might be simply to change the flow patterns of these pumps or more importantly, particularly in the parallel setup so that you have a backup pump so that one fails, you can switch over to the second pump. If we have two pumps in series, the water that flows into the first pump and out into the second is going to be controlled by a mass balance. The water that comes out of the second is obviously also controlled by a mass balance, which means that the velocity through these two pumps will not change because of that mass balance. However, if we look at the pressure, as the water comes out the second pump, the pressure would have increased, so it is now higher than the pressure that went into the first pump. The second pump will again increase the pressure, so an increased pressure on an already increased pressure means a higher pressure coming out of the second pump. In other words, it is going to increase the head. If we look at this in terms of a pump curve, what that means is if we have two identical pumps, and there's a simplification of a pump curve, the second pump curve will be on the exact same thing, so I'll just use a dotted line. When we add the two pumps together, so we're looking at the system of two pumps now, we said the flow rate will not change, so at any given point, so let's just start at a velocity of zero, at any given point the velocity will not change, but the pressure or the head is going to change by a factor of two, so that means that the distance between the zero point and the first pump curve and the first pump curve and the system for both is going to be identical, so the head is going to double. If we take any other point along this curve, the distance between the pump, the original pump curve and adding that onto the system curve for two pumps is also going to double. So taking any point along this and doubling, we will end up having a doubling of this pump curve for series and we will increase the head in that fashion. However, what you will notice from this doubling of the pump curve, as we have now in front of us, is that when we add the system curve, so that's this one here, we do not effectively double the head. We do increase the flow rate a little bit, but we don't double the head. The only way that would happen is if our pump curve was perfectly vertical, which is never going to be the case. And no matter what sort of pump curve I draw in here, or system curve rather, you'll see that the system will never double the head. It will have a higher head though, as well as a slight increase in the velocity or the flow, the volumetric flow rate. Apologies for the quality of this diagram, but if we had to look at now multiple, or an infinite number of pumps in series, you'll see that multiply, or sorry, not multiplying, adding the head starts to lose its impact and the effect on the system curve is less and less with each additional pump in series. If we look at two pumps in parallel, we again have the pressure which starts off low and then is going to increase out of the first pump and in the second pump in the same way we have the increase in pressure. So the pressure that is going to come out of the pumps in parallel is actually going to be the same as it was for one pump. However, if we look at the velocity, we now have the velocity which is split into two streams. The pump then increases the velocity, and when we join these two together, the velocity through this pump is going to be twice as fast as it was before. If we again look at this in terms of a pump curve, there we have our original pump for one pump. We now said that the pressure, or the head, the total head that this is able to deliver does not change, but the velocity does. So at any point at a given head, so we're now looking at the head value, it's not gonna change, but the velocity term, so this is the distance here, at a head of this value here, whatever that is in my Q value, is going to double because we have two pumps added in parallel. At any point along H, we have a constant H, but we're going to have a doubling of the Q. So a doubling of the Q is going to take these points up to that point, and this time we're going to have a new pump curve looking something like that. So for our pumps in parallel, a neater version of this diagram, we are now going to add the flow rate. And as we saw for the series, we need to add in the system curve, wherever that may be. And you'll notice that this is not going to double the flow rate. It does, sorry, the head. It does increase the head by a certain amount, not quite doubling, but it is also going to have a slight effect 
on the head when we put the system curve onto it. And theoretically, if we had to add multiple or infinite number of pumps in parallel, you'll see again that at some point this has no effect, no matter what, or little effect, no matter what the system curve looks like. Theoretically, we could also look at having different pumps sizes. So if we have them in series, so there is pump one in the green and pump two in the second green, which is slightly bigger, so it might have a different flow rate or a different um, impeller size. We again add the distance, so it's that distance there plus that distance there, and you'll see that we end up with a point up here. If we again add, as we go along all of these points, adding the total of pump one and pump two, we end up with new points here. After this dotted line, there is no pump one anymore, so the only curve now is the curve for pump two. So theoretically, this is possible to have two, or mathematically, it is possible to have two different pumps in series. Theoretically, we could have, mathematically rather, we could have the same thing for two pumps in parallel. But don't forget, once we change the pressure in, if we have different pressures flowing through a parallel circuit, we might have some backflow. You just need to check up on that. But as I say, mathematically, it is possible to have two pumps in parallel, where we're now adding up the first pump plus the second pump to get a total new point above the dotted line. There is no pump one, so the only curve is this line here for pump two.